That's her brother? I think that might have been the best moment of my life. And I'm sure you're sworn to secrecy, but um, I was wondering if you know the title for the next one or if you've not I been do. told. I may have got a sniff of what the title for the next I'm one like, is. I'm like, no, they don't tell us anything. <laughs> <laughs> I did find it out last night. Later. Yeah. I did too. Wait, when? I like, when did you find out? Last night. Oh, okay. At least it was just last night. But how? <laughs> I did I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> so where, how long have you known? The leaky cauldron, <laughs> literally. Just a couple of days. Uh huh. Yeah. Have to call them later. It's night. better for me not to know because when I don't know, I can't leak. <laughs> True. That's always good. Yeah. yeah. Why is Grindelwald the focus of this movie? What is it that makes him so dangerous? Ooh. Question. I mean, in truth, you'd have to ask. J.K. Rowling, <laughs> it's her. But but truly, we are. We feel very much like we're in the hands of a great storyteller who's choosing her chapters slowly and carefully. And mm. what you know, we're only a couple of months ahead of the film goers in that we don't always know what's or which chapter is going to be told in what way next. But it's a we very good question. Have no idea. <laughs> no. Yeah. But it's there's something question. about him in comparison to Voldemort that is. Psychopath versus sociopath. There right? you go. Done. But also, what's interesting is the choice because because you know you, they created the world, the wizarding world in the past, so successfully in the first film. <coughs> Excuse me. How dare you? <laughs> <coughs> and in a way, Grindelwald is such a character, such a divisive character that it his. His inclusion or his dynamic immediately ups the ante. And I think mm. that's the idea that suddenly mm. it's like, okay, we're here and now mm. there's the line. Mm. You know? mm. And by the end of the movie, things are pretty tense in the magical community. Mm -hmm. um, do you think we're going to be seeing like all out war in the sequel or? It's possible. I feel like it's heading that way. Mm. I mean, I don't, I, I, I feel like, you know, it new, does feel new like fought in the First World War, it was. In, it was uh, this I want dragons. to see. I know, it's always kind of trying to picture, but I think it feels like it's heading that way, and it's sort of mm. almost inferred in this movie. Mm. What do you mm. reckon? I think, uh, if not all out war, then certainly in the foothills of combat war, because what's clearly set up in this is, is whose side are you on, and so that's the way it's going. And I, I, but I don't think... You know who wants war? Who want who? who or certainly uh, a pacifist or, mm. or the good guys certainly don't want war. No one wants war, so it might be more a battle of how to uh, avoid war, even though it's an inevitability. Mm. Um, and just finally, I have to ask. Obviously, you're going to be joining the MCU soon as well. Yeah. Um, obviously, you probably can't say anything about that either. But mm. do you have any favourite fan, fan theories about the movie? Because I know people, they love to speculate on who you're playing and how it's no, going to work into Avengers 4. I'm just terribly worried that I'm going to be deeply disappointed <laughs> when the truth arises. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of pressure. That's the problem with fan theories. No, it? not really. I mean, pressure on who? You know, it's not on me. Um, <laughs> I know. Okay. Uh, it is, it's a whole new... Uh, uh, Experience because I was one of those people at school that always felt like I did not know. I always he talks with his hands when he's not allowed to reveal things. Yeah, he tries if to distract you. If you watch, if you watch, like, if you watch this in silence, you can probably read my hands. It's probably my hands are probably telling you more truth <laughs> than what I'm saying. Um, no, I've never. I always felt at school like I was one of those people that didn't know any of the. I was always like, "What? What are you guys talking about? What's going on?" What? And suddenly, I've got secrets, and I, I found I'm I'm quite good. good at holding on to them. Okay, cool. But it's terribly amusing watching people guess. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. It is really interesting how wide a field they can go. What's the most ridiculous thing you've heard? Uh, about the MCU. Yeah. And nothing too ridiculous. Okay. Nothing too ridiculous. Wow, that means we're right, you see. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. I mean, put it this way: I'm not Iron Man's son. <laughs> Oof. Are you sure, though? Check his hand. Check his hand. Check his hand. I'm sat on my. I'm not. I'm not Iron, Iron Man's son. Uh, white knuckles. That's great. Thank, Thank you very so much, much, guys. Thank you. The wizarding and non-wizarding worlds have been at peace for over a century. Grindelwald wants to see that piece destroyed. You want me to hunt him down? To kill him? Dumbledore, why can't you go? 
I cannot move against Grindelwald. It has to be you.